supper ready? Hey, anybody home around here? Oh, you didn't hear me come in. Of course you didn't hear me come in. You never hear me come in. Sure makes a lot of difference. You've been married 20 years. You used to be waiting for me at the door with open arms. But now, I didn't hear you come in, dear. Fine welcome I get. Hey, somebody better get that cat out of my chair. 15 or 20 chairs in this house, and that dad blame cat's got to curl up in my chair. Scat, get out of here. Ouch! Doggone it, who left these cowboy boots right where I'd stumble over them. I'm getting sick and tired of all this cowboy business, and I'm getting fed up with somebody jamming a six-gun on my back and snarling, stick em up, you yellow-bellied coyote. Just for five minutes, that's all I'd ask, just for five minutes, let me get my hands on that cop along Hassidy. I mean, cap along Hassidy. I'd fix that buzzard. What's that? Can Bobby what? No, Bobby can't have my car tonight. I'm not going to let that 18-year-old kid take my car and get it all banged up, and besides, I'm going to a picture show after supper. I what? Why ain't I going to a picture show? Who's coming for supper? Jim and Catherine Mason. Oh, for heaven's sake, of all the people I don't want to see tonight, is Jim and Catherine Mason. Why didn't you invite Frank and Laura Walker, too, and make the evening a complete flump? Call them up and tell them I broke a leg and you had to shoot me. Me call them? Why should I call them? I didn't invite them. Did I do what? What? Turn off that dad blame radio, will you? Now, what'd you say? No, I didn't stop on my way home and look at any fur coat in any window. You're not getting a fur coat. And while we're on the subject, you might just as well understand right now that we're not getting a television set either. Oh, what a life. I work like a dog all day and then I come home to what? Nobody even knows I'm in the house. Cat curled up in my favorite chair. Cowboy boots right in the middle of the floor. A 44 jammed in my ribs. Bobby wants the carton night. Mama wants a fur coat. Kids want a television set. Can't go to the picture show because the Masons are coming for supper. What a lovely evening. They'll guzzle the last bite of food on the table, and the rest of the evening I'll have to listen to Jim blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I hear him. All right, I'll let him in. Sure believe in getting here early. Must be afraid they'll miss something. Well, well, hello, Jim and Catherine. Sure glad to see you. Come right in. You know, I was just telling Mama a few minutes ago, this is one evening I feel like having a good old-fashioned visit with you folks. Oh, Mama, the Masons are here. Maybe you can whip us up a little, you know, appetizer. And you better hurry up with dinner. Bobby wants to get going on his date. Yes, thanks, Phil, Bobby. Have a good time, son. Say, folks, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I ordered a swell television set today, and next week I'm getting Mama a new fur coat for her birthday. Sit down, folks. Sit down.